Hi everyone, I'm back again with another S3 bucket video. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about S3 bucket event notifications. In this, we will be discussing about uh, how to get the notifications using SNS, that is a simple notification services by Amazon and the email services by the Amazon. So uh, before we start, before we go to the hands-on, let's see the basic concept that we have. So in this, uh, we will be creating S3 bucket and we can get the notification on any of the events like put or get events or any delete uh, object being performed on the S3 bucket. We can get it easily through SQS, that is a simple queuing services or the notification services or through the Lambda. So in today's topic, we will just uh, look into the SNS and what are the various events that can trigger those uh, notification services, uh, what is a publisher and what is a subscriber. So all those things we will cover in this topic. So we'll start with our bucket. So we will move on to the AWS console. Again, uh, I'm using in this one, my root password, username and password, but it's not recommended. Okay, let's... Log into the management console. Just a second. Three, three, three. What's wrong with this? M six four. So first of all, we will create one S three bucket. Then later on, we will configure. Later on, we will configure the SNS on it so let's create one bucket over here so we will go to the s3 so let's create one bucket over here as discussed in my previous videos like uh, we have to choose the appropriate region uh, because of the latency issues. So whichever uh, region is nearby, so we can choose that one. So let's say I'm creating a bucket with the name uh, S3 bucket notifications. I hope it is unique. Otherwise we have to choose some different name. So uh, I'm keeping all the options over here by default. I'm not changing anything over here. So just create a bucket. It's already there, but a bucket with the same name already exists. So let's put something else, bucket one, two, notify. So this is our bucket being created bucket s3 bucket one to notify now whenever we will perform any uh, we can create some events like if somebody is performing the put event means uploading some image to this s3 bucket so we will get a notification so either through sqs sns or we can use the lambda lambda we are not going to do now or sqs we will today's example i will show you with the sns how we can receive the notification services and we can subscribe to an email using SES. So 
first so any operation that is being performed like put get we can also configure that or modification of any objects in the bucket that we are placing or any delete operation being performed by the user on this bucket so we will get the notification for that so in this uh, currently i have just created a bucket over here so let's move on to the sns So in this notification services, first of all, we have to create a topic first. So there is already one topic over here, but uh, I'm going to create a new topic. So we can see over here, there are two types are there, FIFO and standard one. In the FIFO, <laughs> it's strictly preserved message ordering in which it is being uh, delivered and it is exactly one message delivery high throughput up to 300 publishers per second we can have and subscription protocol SQS is there. But uh, as we are going to just only use the HTTP and the email and all those options we get in the normal standard one. So I'm going to use this one. So it uses the best afford messaging order and at least one once message delivery option is there. So I will use the standard option over here. And let's say my topic is, uh, my notifications okay uh, and display name optional list all the things i will keep it optional now let's create the topic first so you can see my topic has been created now before moving further let's create the access policy now here in this access policy if you see over here by default uh, it's giving this all the actions, SNS, get topic attributes, add permission, removal, delete topic, subscribe, publish, receive, and all those things are there. And resource is our, the topic that we have created. So ARN number is being mentioned over here and my topic name is mentioned. Now here we are going to change a little bit over here in order to mention our own bucket. So otherwise it won't give you the permissions or we can try one thing let's go to the subscriptions over here so we can create a subscription so you can see this is my subscription over here and uh, i can create over here subscription uh, protocol that i'm going to use email and i am going to put my email id I'll be getting so whatever topic you create, you have to create a subscription for that. So you can see over here we have SQS Lambda email, email JSON, HTTP, HTTPS, platform application endpoint, as well as SMS is also there. So I'm choosing simply email and I've provided my email. Then the rest of the options are optional. We can just directly move to the create subscription. So I have created a subscription now. I will go back to my bucket over here. So I will go to my S3 bucket, want to notify. So I'll go to the properties. So whatever events that are going to happen on this bucket, I need to subscribe to that notification services. So I will go to the event notifications. You can see over here, create event notification. Let's say event name. Suppose if I am using for put only, put S3 means when I'm uploading an image or any object in the S3 bucket. Rest, we can keep it as well as we can also select over here event types. And um, as I am using for just for put, so I'm using over here put. And uh, here in the destination, we have to choose SNS topic. So you can see over here, choose your SNS topic. So if your topic is created properly, you can see your notif this is my notifications SNS topic that I've created just now. It's showing over here. Even we can enter the SNS topic ARN number, Amazon resource number that we can put it over here. So I'm choosing my SNS from here and save the changes. Now you can see I'm getting an error over here. 
the error is because unable to validate the following destination configuration because the bucket is not public. It's not giving the SNS the permission to get this events fired. So, uh, so what we have to do, we have to go to the SNS and change a little bit with the policies over here, access policies. So I will go to my topics over here, my notifications, and you can see the access policy. Now here, I have to change the string equals. So this is a by default policy is there. I have to click edit. So I will just edit this policy can see the access policy. This is a by default one policy is being loaded up. Now I'll just change this one. So instead of string equal, I can use ARN like, and here I have to use AWS source. Instead of owner, I will use the ARN, that is Amazon resource name. So here I have to put my bucket ARN. So I'll go back to my bucket over here. So you can see over here, Amazon resource name. So I can click here, copy and go back to my SNS and paste it over here. So now I'm giving the permissions over here and then save the changes so by default policy has been changed now this notifications are being linked to my bucket so you can see still the pending confirmation is there so we will just check our email you can see i got a notification over here for the subscription you have chosen to subscribe to the topic my notification click on the link to confirm if i don't click the confirm i won't be getting the notifications so i'm just clicking the confirm even we can unsubscribe it later on stages. You can see click to unsubscribe also. So currently I have subscribed to this notification services. Now uh, I will go back to my um, S3 console over here. So I'm back into the properties over here. Now you can see again, I will try to create the event notification. I'll put some event name, let's say put S3. And then optional, these are all optional. So I'm choosing, we can choose all of them, all the event notifications. So for everything like for put, post, copy, if somebody is copying, permanently delete or delete marker created. If MFA is enabled, that time you will get these options. Uh, restore initiated, restore completed. So I can choose all of them, but currently I just want to show you for the put. And that's it. So here I will choose over here, SNS topic. And you can see over here, if you want some script based upon S3, we can use the Lambda function. And if you want some notification by email, SS, SMS or HTTP endpoints, we have to use SNS topic. SQS, we can use like, uh, this is a ready server that we have read by the server. So we can have this queuing services. So we can get the notifications on SQS queue also. So each one of is having its own features. So we will discuss uh, one by one later on the stages. So today we are just doing the SNS one. So here I will choose my enter SNS topic here and oh, I can just click here. So you can see over here, my notifications. Now, if I click save the changes, that's it. So previously it was not able to accept because we haven't given the access policies in the SNS. So after providing this access policy, we can link the event notifications with our S, this S3 bucket. S3 bucket event notifications are now you can see it is linked to the SNS topic, my notifications. And even type that we have configured that is a put, there is no filter and all. And then we will go back to our bucket. Now we will try to upload some image file or any file. Let's say I'm taking this file, click OK.
upload. So you can see I have successfully uploaded the object in the my S3 bucket, cc5.png file. So let's see, you can see I immediately I got a notification over here. Service Amazon S3, S3.test event time, S3 bucket, notify request ID and the host ID. If you want to wish to stop this notification, we can click over here. So it's giving us the whole detail over here. So whenever any put is being performed in this bucket, so we will get the notification about that. Similarly, we can configure it for delete. And similarly, even we can, even we can use it with the other recognition services by the AWS as well as we can use it for like pay by the subscriber option if somebody is using your images or service uh, objects that are being stored in the s3 bucket we can just uh, tell them to pay uh, for that service so those options are also there in the s3 bucket that we will discuss in the later videos i hope uh, you understood the concept of this s3 bucket even notifications So we can cross check over here. You can see uh, event notification down over here. Put name of the event as put three, put event as an topic. So if I click on this, my notifications, you can check over here, what are the notifications over here. So you can see the status has been confirmed with the email. So once you click confirm, then only the status will be confirmed. Otherwise it will show the pending. It will not send you the notification so once you confirm from your email that you want to receive this notifications for this particular topic then only it will be coming as confirmed status otherwise it will not show you the confirmed status over here so we can check over here subscription id is there subscribe to this email id and the protocol that is being used is the email I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like, subscribe and share the video. So in the upcoming days, I will be posting some more videos on S3 bucket, as well as we will try to cover more services like EC2 uh, and then we are DynamoDB database and all. So we'll try to cover as long, as much as services as we can. Even there are very interesting services like recognition is there. Then we have, uh, chat bot is there so lots of are there we will slowly slowly i will show you all the hands-on on this services thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe thank you